Nikki and today I'm so excited to be doing my November favorites for you guys. I can't believe it's already that time of the year and today marks December 1st so I feel like this year is going so fast and I don't know if you guys noticed something else different but I kind of got my hair done again. Um, yeah, so this is basically my November favorites with my um, new hair new hair topic, I don't know. Um, all you guys basically have been asking me what I get done to my hair and what I ask for when I go to my hair salon. So basically, I will give you like the whole info on that before I start my favorites. Um, I go to the salon, Blink27, and I go to the owner, which is Maya, and she's the only lady I trust. If you guys saw my hair story on um, my on our channel, you guys obviously saw that I have had some horrific experiences with my hair, and I have trusting issues because of all that. And so the only lady I trust um, with my hair is Maya. She literally does my hair exactly how I want it. I will show her a picture and she'll understand completely what I want and just do it perfect, honestly. So if you can't go to that salon where I went to, then basically what you gotta tell your hairstylist is to ombre your hair and to get some pieces framing your face. Because if you just tell them to dye your hair, they're just gonna dye it. And if you tell them to ombre it, most likely they're just gonna do the ends. Also, you want a color that naturally like blends. Um, they can either put a toner in it to get it to this color that um, that you want. So basically, I know this sounds really creepy, but you could totally bring in a picture of me um, with my hair, and you can show them, I want my ombre to go to this color. So most likely, they'll put a toner in your hair that'll make your hair this color. But I didn't put a toner in my hair. My hairstylist, Maya, like just put um, the hair lifter in my hair, and literally, it just lifted my hair to this color. So, um, yeah, so that's how I get my hair done. So, after all that, I'm so excited to get to my favorites. Um, I went shopping a lot this month. Um, this month, there was Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Um, all the Christmas sales and stuff have just gone up in November, so I am so excited to show you guys a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't make a Black Friday haul because personally there the lines were huge at the mall I went to so I ended up waiting in about one long line which took a very long time and it was in Claire's because I decided I wanted to get a bunch of accessories because I, I already have enough clothes so I just wanted to get accessories so um, I will show you guys the accessories I bought on Black Friday for my accessory favorites but I will first start with those because I really want to show you guys what I got on Black Friday. So here's my Claire's bag. And basically, um, before taking stuff out, I want to show you some rings I got. I got these rings. I got, um, they all came in a pack. And this is just a black heart. And this has just a bunch of, like, um, mini hearts that are cut out. And I put that on my ring finger. And then on this hand, I have my promise ring from Jerry. And then I have this, which came in the pack. And it has, like, a little diamond right there. And I saw on Tumblr and, oh, I'm out of focus. Focus me. Am I focused? Yeah, I'm focused. So, um, on Tumblr and Pinterest, I've seen the wearing a lot of rings trend, and I thought that was so cute. So, I just like the look of wearing a lot of rings, so I bought a lot of rings when I was Black Friday shopping. Um, so then, in my bag, surprise, surprise, I have more rings that I bought, because I'm going to be doing this a lot. And I bought these knuckle rings. And they are adorable. Um, they're just plain silver, and then some have black and silver on it. It all came together, but I like took apart the thing it all came with, so they're all floating around in my bag. And these are the other rings that came with it. This one is, um, it just has a pearl, and this one says love. And um, I got this one separately, and it's a little owl, and I love this. I want it to focus so bad because you guys need to see how cute this guy is. So this is my little owl ring. You can't really see it, but my camera sucks at focusing. So um, just go on my Instagram if you want to see it. It's at Nikki Demar, and I will post a picture of my little owl ring. I know Gabby's thing is pearls, but you know anyone can wear pearls, and I think they're perfect for the winter. So I got pearls, and then I got this little pack that has diamonds and silver studs on here. And then um, yeah, that's what I bought for Black Friday. So, um, that was my accessory favorites. Well, that was some of them. I'm going to show you my other accessory. I actually also bought this at Claire's, but this wasn't for Black Friday. This was, um, was at the beginning of the month. I was just at the mall, and it was a little top knot bow. And um, I've been using this a lot because I always wear top knots because 
I am so lazy when it comes to doing my hair, especially on school days. So I just wear it in a top knot and I think it's so cute just wearing this cute little like floral black and like maroon and light like, pink beige and olive green floral pattern like hair tie thingy and it's I am so excited to show you guys this amazing candle. It's huge. It's going to take forever to run out, so you can use this every year and guess what it is, guys? Or the scent. Why did I say guess what it is? <laughs> it's scented Mary Mistletoe. And if you want to walk into a room and just smell the holidays and get really excited, then you're definitely going to want to purchase this because this is, it smells like candy cane, it smells like holly, it smells like cinnamon. It is just the perfect everything for the holidays. And it is Mary Mistletoe by Clarity Candles. And it gets better. Discover a hidden ring within. I didn't know this, but apparently there's a ring in the middle of this. So once it's like halfway to like, I don't know, here, I guess there's a ring in the middle. Um, that's even awesomer. That's not even a word, but oh well. <laughs> I think that makes it even more awesome because I was just telling you how rings are in. And um, if there's a ring in here, then obviously I'm just going to add it to my handful of rings. So um, get with the trends. Like get one of these candles. They have a ring in there so you can get with the ring trend and it smells like Christmas. So like why wouldn't you get this? It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I have even more news. Um, if you guys want to get that candle, you guys can just go to my info box and I will have a link to the website and um, if you type in the discount code Nikki and Gabby, you, you get a discount on this candle. Not just this candle, but any candle, but I think this is perfect for the holidays. This is my recommendation. If you want to be twins with me, just get this. So now my beauty favorite. I have one beauty favorite this month. And um, if you guys have been watching like my holiday must-haves or any of my hauls that I do, um, I do show my makeup products that I've been using. But if I showed them again in this video, it would be too repetitive. So I'm just not going to show those. If you want to see other beauty products I purchased this month, then you should watch my holiday must-haves or my haul that I taped with Gabby. But um, anyways, my only beauty favorite of this month is a huge favorite, and it's time to whip out my tanning lotion again. So, I don't know how pale you guys get, but I, my family is just pale in the winter, and because we're Cuban and Italian, we get black in the summer, so our skin's like really like, like up and down. Like we can either get really tan or really pale, and this stuff literally looks so natural. This is the Faux Tan Body by Bare Minerals and it is the Sunless Body Tanner. The color is like dark that you put on your body so if you are missing any spot you'll see it and you can fix it and I'm just gonna rub it on my hands right now because it smells really good. So for the winter I love the leg warmer trend and um, they look so cute with high-rise boots and they keep your legs extra warm I got my leg warmers at Target, but I know you can get them at almost any shoe store in the winter or any other kind of store. Um, but yeah, so I love my leg warmers. I also don't know if you guys saw my haul with Gabby, and I don't want to be repetitive, but just in case you didn't see it, I've been wearing this so much this month, and it is my fur vest, which I got from Forever 21, and it's fake fur. Um, I don't wear real fur, but... Um, it is so comfortable, so warm, and it is so fashionable, and I just wear a plain long sleeve shirt under it with this over it, and it just looks really cute, and it dresses up whatever you're wearing, and I just love it, and yeah, so that is my um, other fashion favorite. Again, I don't want to get repetitive, but um, I also showed this in my holiday must-haves, but if you didn't see that, then I'm showing it to you guys in here. This is another favorite. It is my reindeer cardigan sweater which I got from Forever 21 and I'm obviously I love reindeer right now I'm wearing my reindeer cardigan from Cotton On which is another favorite but I'm wearing it so I can't hold it up but I got this from Cotton On and then my um my last fashion favorite is actually a dress that I wore yesterday to my cousin's baptism hold on let me tie the bow because it'll look way cuter with the bow tied so this is the dress I wore and it looks very vintage and I wore this with fishnet stockings and nude pumps and it is a very light pink, it's almost a nude and it has these dark dark brownish black polka dots all over them and um, I, I love it for the fall. I just think it is so vintage and it is fun 
and I got this at Urban Outfitters, if you guys were all wondering. I uploaded a lot of pictures from the christening yesterday and everyone was asking me where I got my dress. So hopefully this answers your question. So this month something interesting also happened to my phone. Um, my boyfriend visited me at college and we were like rushing me to get to a lab and um, I had slippery gloves on and he handed me my phone and it slipped out and it shattered my whole screen and I was so upset. I was like, oh my god, this is the worst day ever. But little do I know it was because my cut my chevron case that I showed you guys in my October favorites I'm not I forget which video I showed it to you guys in but um, my chevron case wasn't really protective of anything on my phone so when I dropped it it just completely shattered so because of that um, I went to my AT&T store and um, because of my I had warranty on my phone they were able to send me a new one but um, they were out of black so they gave me a white iPhone which I'm kind of happy about. It's a little change. At first, I didn't think I liked the white iPhone, but now I do. I do really like it. It looks really classy. Um, but anyways, my nice boyfriend felt awful, so he got me something to protect my phone, and he got me a matte um, iPhone cover, and he got me a bumper for my iPhone. And apparently, I, I always saw these, and I was like, I feel like they don't protect your phone. Like it's just a thing around the edges. But little did I know, when you drop it. Because it's um, like lifted above your phone on both sides, if you ever did drop it, it would just hit the bumper, not the phone. Like the phone's all the way up there. So um, my phone is completely protected now and it's white. So that is also something I wanted to update you guys about. And before I forget, I will do my song favorites of the month. If I had to pick a song favorite of the month, it would definitely be Dark Horse by Katy Perry. Collide by Jake Miller. Banga Banga by Austin Mahone. And Do What You Want by Lady Gaga. And I'm not going to do my little singing about them because I feel like this video is long with all my updates I had to give you. And um, if you guys don't know the songs, I'll link them in my info box so you guys can look them up and listen to them because they're really awesome and fun songs. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought by either tweeting me or Instagramming me or letting me know your guys' November favorites. So I hope to hear from you guys soon, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.